Okay, good afternoon, everybody. We would like to welcome you to the pre match press conference uh, for Northeast United versus Jamshedpur. Uh, we will start the press conference with uh, the journalists. You can raise your hands and ask your question. Yeah, so Srijan, you can go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, coach. My first question to you would be uh, Jamshedpur have been playing really good football this season. They also have uh, the top scorer of last season, Vlaskis. So, any special plans for Vlaskis and Jamshedpur FC? Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, yes, we are aware of, of Vlaskis. Uh, we know how dangerous it is. He is a target man, a striker capable of scoring goals. A lot of goals, as you just said. He was the top scorer last season and he's already with six goals in the current season. And we know he's a threat. And we've seen videos of him and we're going to be prepared. Uh, my second question would be to Gallego. So, Federico, you've been missing out on a lot of action this season due to injury. So, how is your injury concern right now? How is your injury concern right now and are you ready to play tomorrow? Hello, good afternoon for everyone. Yes, as you say, I feel some, some problem about two weeks before. But now I'm 100% fit. And so I'm ready for, for tomorrow's game. So I will play with, with the coach what, what he decides. Coach, uh, you changed your starting 11 in every game that you've played, you know, with minor changes and all. So, are you still in the process of finding out your best 11 or you just keep changing with respect to your opponents? Well, it's not that I'm looking for the best 11 because we, we I don't believe in that way. Um, I don't think it's just be, uh, better 11 players and the rest no matter. There are a lot of things to take under consideration when we decide which 11 starts a game. We consider how obviously we are, how we've been training, um, what was the last performances, how is the opening, and so many other things. Um, so it's a lot of factors, a lot of reasons why makes me, in that case, as a head coach, to decide for one 11 and also which players that might come in in any single moment of the game. And, of course, as well, the 20 players that are traveling and they are in the roster. Yeah, we can go to uh, IFTWC next. Hi, good afternoon, Coach. Uh, good I have afternoon. two questions for you. Uh, Jamshed, Jamshedpur is a team who believes in aggression style of play and follow a high pressing attack. But to a contrast, you follow a counter-attacking style having a defensive approach. So how would you balance the attack and confront them in the pitch? Well, at uh, first I disagree with, with that. Uh, I don't think we are a defensive style. I think we are a team that we are the second team that score more goals. For instance, I would say that we are attacking team. But also we are a team that knows how to defend and we, de we defend quite well. And, and that's, I'm not just saying, I, um, I'm just based on the facts and the objective. So, but we are a team that has scored eight goals and Mumbai is the team that has scored more goals so far, which he scored nine. It's just one goal uh, difference. So I consider that we have a team that is, has attacking football. Uh, and we have different ways of, of hurting the opponents by counterattack, as you said, by set pieces, because we score from that as well, and positional play and so many other ways. So that's the way I see our team. And I'm so proud of what we, 
done so far, but obviously this is a process. Every day we try to get better and every game is a new opportunity to do so. Okay, sir, uh, next question for you. You have some promising views on youngsters and local talents like Apia and Suhai, and of late they are exemplary in the field. So are you looking forward to add more local talents to the team looking from a futuristic angle? Well, I'm again, I'm looking to to play the players that I believe can do the best performance, considering a lot of factors in every game. And this is not about their nationality or where they're coming from or whatever. It, it depends on what is in trainings and all the other factors that I already mentioned before. So we'll see what happens in the next game and how it goes. But those are the points and where I'm coming with my decisions. Thank you, coach. One last question. So you, yeah. you have your application named the efficiency matched and that looks uh, interesting. So how is this application helpful to your team now? Well, basically is uh, is an app that we created years ago to help us to communicate better in terms of tactics with the players. Uh, we have a lot of uh, video uh, analysis work and those animations uh, I believe helps the player to understand better uh, what they have to do, um, of course, in set pieces, but also in, in build up or di different moments of the games. And that's basically a technology, technology in our hands that we take advantage and helps whatever language we speak to, to get all of us in the same direction and understanding in that case what the coach wants. Good luck, sir. Good luck for you tomorrow's game. Thank you very much. Yeah, any more questions? Yeah, Nikolai, you can go ahead. Hey, Gerard, good afternoon. Am I audible? Yeah, good afternoon. Hi, nice to see you again. Uh, yeah, my question is, uh, Gerard, coming to last, if you have to compare this season, Northeast United, this season and last season, well, we're at a similar stage. Six games into the season, uh, the team was unbeaten. But um, as the season progressed, the team lost their way. Is this something that you've been cautious about and hoping the team doesn't avoid any more slip-ups because one loss and it could dent your momentum heading into the season? So is this something that you've been cautious about? Well, we, we're working hard to be sure we, we're not going to lose. Uh, no matter when, we try to go for the three points in every single game. Um, but I'm not worried if one day this might happen. This happens to already almost all the teams in the league, except uh, obviously I was telling two other teams. But um, the most important is that we keep progressing, we keep improving, we, we, we stick to our identity, and that's the most important. You know, uh, at the end of the day, we have a lot of respect as well for the, the opponents. We're playing against fantastic sides, great coaches. And we know it's, they won also the three points. They want to win as well. So we, we take that under consideration because this, it's a difficult, difficult uh, league, competitive league. And we're going to try to prove this kind of a stati statistics wrong. And if we get the, the three points... Uh, tomorrow, that's going to be the best start ever for us. So, looking forward to achieve that. I don't hear you. Uh, I also have a question for Federico. Thank you, Gerard. I have a question for Federico. Hi, Federico. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, how much of a difference do you notice between, you know, the approaches of uh, Coach Gerard and uh, Robert Gianni last season? Do you see a big difference between the approaches of the two coaches? Hello, good afternoon. Uh, both of them are different, different coaches, but I, I think they, they, both of them worked to, to, to take the, the results. Last season, as, as you know, we, we start very well, but after we cannot follow the, the, same, the same way. But I know and I, I believe in this year that's not, not don't happen. And I think we are as a, as a team, we know 
how to do in inside the pitch. So we are continuing in, in this way to to take the results and the three points. Thank you, Gerard. Thank you, Federico. All the best for tomorrow. Cheers. Thank you. Guys, if someone has any question uh, about the coach and you want to ask him, I can't leave the room, eh? no problem. <laughs> and then he can answer you. He can tell you the truth then. As, as, yes, as you know, we fight uh, some days before. Uh, yes. <laughs> Because, because I because I won, I'm, I'm here. Yes. If not, if I lose, I was I was in the hospital. <laughs> I had all this blue before. Yeah, just to uh, make sure that that's just a joke. Okay, don't take it seriously. But uh, yeah, yes, you can uh, go ahead. Yeah. Hi, coach. Uh, so my question to you would be. So Valkis has left from where he started last season. So what are your special plans for him and? Am I When? Yeah, we, we can't hear you. Yes, can you wait? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, Valskis left from where he started, uh, like, Valskis has started from, he le from where he left last season. So, any special plans for him? Well, uh, Wayne is a player in, in the team, like the rest of the 27. No, 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 no. What, what he means no, is no. that. Well, Scoring as well as he has been scoring. Ah, Balskis. Yeah, Balskis. Yes. He said Wayne. No, no. Bas. I, I thought... He says Balskis is scoring as well as he has been. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what are your plans for Balskis? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, uh, I think that that was the first question uh, today also. Um, it was talking about, uh, they asked about uh, Balskis. Balskis, we know how dangerous he is in, in the box. We know how capable is scoring in many ways, uh, heading, finishing. It's it's a dangerous player. No matter what you do, you know that he's going to be a threat. You know, and we we saw uh, we saw videos. We we know we are aware of it, and we're going to try to deal in the best way possible. Let's basically be sure that he's not really comfortable in and has a lot of time to to hurt us. Great. So my question to Federico would be, Federico, what are your thoughts about the uh, about the present squad this year? Because the team has gone through massive changes compared to the last season. What about the present squad compared to last year? What do you think? Comparison. Oh, hello, how are you? I don't I'm like great. really. I don't like really to com to, to compare players and coaches. is is not my style, but. I think this year we have a we have a strong squad, and also last last year. But I think now we have new new players also that they they show every day his desire to 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 improve, and also we have a, a different foreigns to also we we decide to to improve, and I don't think so is much difference. But every everyone here wants to to improve, so it, I think this is the this is the point, and I I really like players like like this. Thank you, Federico. Good luck for the next game. Thank you. Yeah, Devujati from Kerala. You can go ahead. Hello, coach. Good afternoon. I'm Good afternoon. Yeah. Uh, coach, a win tomorrow can take you to the top of the table. How good is the, uh, I mean, the atmosphere in the dressing room of your team? It's really good. Uh, the team wants more. We are not uh, just comfortable in the current position. We want more. We want more. I see this desire, as uh, Gallego just said, to, to do better individually and also as a group. And I'm looking forward uh, for tomorrow's game because I expect a good performance again. And not only we keep that in beaten run of the straight uh, six games without losing, but um, uh, we're aiming, not just me as a head coach, as a group, we're aiming to get the three points and we're going to go with that intention. Thank you, coach. All the best for the game. Thank you. Nicola, you have one more question? Yeah. Hi, Gerard. My question was, uh, am I audible? 
Yeah. Yeah. My question was: Are there any injury concerns uh, for in your squad ahead of tomorrow's game? And could you provide an update on Wayne Was since um, you know quite a lot of fans have been eager to see him back in action? Everybody, it's finally good to to be in the game. Uh, we Gallego obviously was the last one that we could have doubts, but now we are completely sure about it, and now we. We're going to decide tomorrow, obviously, the ones that are traveling to the stadium and finally the ones that are going to start the game and depending how it goes, the substitutions and so on. Is Wayne fit, match fit or to be named among the... Sub is Wayne was a uh, match fit or... Wayne? Wayne. Is Wayne match fit or he, does he still need time to get back? Everybody can can be fit to play the okay. game. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all the best. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so do we have any more questions? I don't see any raised hands at present. Uh, I have a question. Yeah, yeah sure. Hi, Coach. Uh, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yeah, good afternoon. Okay, uh, Jamshedpur uh, FC is the uh, most, uh, you know, uh, they have put the most crosses uh, in the, in the among all the teams. Uh, they have 103 crosses uh, so far in the league, which is approximately like 17 crosses per game. And they're also third on the passes uh, stats. So does that make it difficult to plan against a team uh, which uh, you know plays the passing football as well as makes uh, you know uh, depends on crosses so much? Well, that tells us that we have to be ready and we cannot switch off for a second because at any point they can put those crosses from any position, any moment, and they can create something from uh, nothing. You know, from something that at least we don't expect. And that's, that's something that we are aware of it. We train about it. Uh, we're going to be ready. And we know how good they are. And all, we always talk about Balskis as a, a top scorer, but they have many other players. Jackie Chan, uh, probably on the right side. That's obviously the two. Um, Williams, uh, the other striker that plays usually with next to to Baskis and the two central bikes are really powerful also on the air and how good they are as a defender. So they, they are a team with, with a lot of options, a big threat for any team, and they are in a good run. They didn't lose in the last five games and they're going to be for sure a competitive uh, game tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, next question is for Fede. Uh, Hi, Fede. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, normally, during an ISL season, like uh, you would train uh, four months, uh, maybe November to February, in like cooler climates of uh, Guwahati, and you know, play some home matches. And now you're uh, spending the entire season in hot and humid, you know, Goa. Does that uh, makes uh, recovery more difficult? Uh, does is it hard on the body uh, to be training and playing in Goa all the matches as a player? Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, I think that last year it will be it. It was I think difficult because you have to travel, you have to to spend one day flying, and now we have uh, from one hour to the stadium, so you play and you stay you stay here close to to the, to the hotel, and I think it's it's better to to recover. I think, but. I, I, don't, I, I don't think so is an excuse. So every, every, everyone, we are in the, in the same situation. We are the, in the same position. We, we play each between four, five days. So that's what I say was always like this. So I don't know what is the, no, it's no problem for us. So we have to continue working and recovering after games and that's it. Thank you. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, right. We have time for one more question if anybody is interested. Can I ask a question to Federico? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh, hi, Frederick. Uh, would you like to comment anything on the coordination level of the players? So, because they are being doing excellent in the field. Coordination of our clips. How are they playing together? Anything you want to say about that? No, I I'm happy with that. So I think the, the coordination for our players are good.
from the first moment we know how to do in the inside the pitch. So we know how is our plan to, to play football. We have the clear things in, 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 our, in our head. So we know how the right back is going to do, how the, the left wing is going to do. So I think it's, it's easy for, for our, for as a player, to know how how the our teammate is is gonna is gonna is gonna do, so I think the coordination is is is, is very good. Um, of course, we have to to keep going and improving every every single day. Uh, but I think is is good, and I'm, I'm happy with what, what is our style. Nice. Good luck for your tomorrow's game. Thank you. All right, uh, I don't see any more raised hands. So with that, we can end our press conference for today. Uh, I thank you all for coming. The audio video file for the conference will be shared shortly via mail and our WhatsApp group. Thank you all and see you on the next one. Bye.